At the interactive entertainment business, we make science fiction into science fact. The journey we started with Connect could not have been possible without the amazing partnership with Microsoft Research. You cannot create a great product, a breakthrough product, by accident. Connect was a consequence of years of investment by Microsoft. In a way, Connect had an infinite amount of miracles that needed to happen for us to bring this product to market. There's three technical pillars that have made the, the simple and intuitive experiences of Connect possible. And it really is about voice recognition, it's about identity recognition, it's about human tracking. Within each one of those categories, there is a myriad of improbable things that we had to make possible. We knew that the challenge is in Pretty much, there was no way to over-design the digital signal processing chain, the microphones, the electronics. Everything had to be squeezed to the max to be made to perform the best. We had the technologies at the beginning, but making them work together as a pipeline and to have end-to-end -end performance was the biggest challenge. In research, sometimes you work on things that you actually don't know where are the applications? Core technology that we are focusing on is tracking, also your identity. We want the computer to be able to recognize you and continue tracking you. We develop a software system a technology that combines three factors, your face and the clothes that you're wearing and your height to determine whether this is the same player. To enable immersive gaming, you have to be able to track the body in real time. And moreover, we needed to leave some of the computing resources uh, available to game designers to, to write their games. I'd been working on this problem of extracting 3D body position from video when the Xbox team contacted us saying they wanted to solve the problem of human body tracking. We didn't then know what techniques we were going to use to solve it, but one thing I knew from my previous experience was that we were going to need lots and lots of training data, lots and lots of example images that could train the system or even ultimately test the system. I was uh, involved in the, the human body tracking um, part of the system so that it can turn you into an avatar or interpret your body motions as gestures to control the game. This is a highly resource-constrained machine learning problem. We need to make this work for children, for adults for gaming people, to non-gaming people, to one person, to two people, to males, to females, to people with beards, to people with hats, to people with dreadlocks. This is performing a state-of-the-art signal processing operation on what comparatively is very limited compute hardware. Beyond broadening the audience for gaming, Kinect is already starting to open up exciting new avenues in telepresence, in robotics, in healthcare. Microsoft is really looking at the future of computer-human interaction away from just the mouse and keyboard into a domain where anyone can interact with computers at any time. The computers, obviously, thanks to Moore's law, are fabulously powerful now. We're seeing the things that were just unthinkable even five years ago are now feasible. We just scratched the surface. Microsoft Research's approach to innovation of doing Blue Skies research, just because it's difficult, will always lead to great advances in the way that ordinary people interact with computers in the world. The incredible partnership between the Kinect team and Microsoft Research has allowed us to make tomorrow happen today.